Hi, this video today is just to talk to you for a few minutes about knee strengthening exercises for pain in your knee, particularly that you may experience after things like running or lifting or anything where there's any kind of impact that causes pressure down on your knee. Uh, just a word of caution before we even start here, and that is that if you feel any kind of deep pain and any kind of noise popping, cracking in your, in your knee joint, your kneecap, or if you have any swelling or redness, please see your physician before you start doing any kind of exercises to try to deal with it, because that could mean a serious injury down deep in your knee. This is, is for, for mild surface knee injuries or injuries, uh, just pain from overuse in, in your knee joints, which can develop, uh, particularly for people that are very physically active. Um, we're going we're gonna to talk about several exercises that will not actually put serious impact on the knee, but it will work to strengthen the, the, the muscles around the kneecap. Um, I'm, today I'm wearing a, an ACE uh, knee brace that has uh, side supports in it. Uh, if you are having knee pain, I want to suggest that when you do these type of exercises, doing anything to work around a sore knee, that you do get a good knee brace. These, don't, these, are, not, these are not inhibiting or debilitating in any way. They they're, have full flexibility in this knee. Um, but it does give good strength and support around that knee while you're working it. I've, I've, in this particular um, <clears throat> brace right here, uh, I've been able to go to martial arts classes and do front kicks, side kicks, round kicks, spinning heel kicks, all those things with no inhibition in mobility in this knee with this brace on, but it gives good support to my knee. So I want to highly suggest that you get a good knee brace if you're experiencing knee pain and you're trying to work through it. First exercise we're going to do today is just a set of lunges with with uh, adjustable dumbbells. These are, these are pretty light. These are 25 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna use them with the full amount on them, but you can use them with any amount. So please, before we even get started here, uh, keep in mind that nothing I'm using here means that this is what you have to use. It's not, you don't have to use this amount of weight. You can use no amount of weight. You can do lunges. And I'll just demonstrate them right now. If you do lunges, you can do them with no weight and they make a great leg exercise. Now you are putting some pressure down on your knee but it's not like the pressure that you would do in a full squat or deadlift or something like that. You're doing it milder and you're just, you're putting your knee in a position where it can be strengthened without putting too much stress on it. And that's stepping out and stepping back up, stepping out, stepping back up, out, stepping back up. Notice the position of my body. My body is turned towards the knee that's out and goes down right over it. What you don't want to be is you don't want to be in this position right here, and you don't want to be in this position right here. Either one of those, you can hurt your back. You can hurt your back, your knee, your leg. Uh, you want to be, you want to stay straight up, moving your body slightly over the knee that's out. So you can do those with no weight whatsoever while you're trying to build your knee strength. I'm going to do them with weights, and this is the way you would do a set of lunges with weights. I'm not going to go through the whole thing to keep from boring you here, but that would be how you would do a set of lunges with weights. I would suggest that you start out, if you're just starting or you're working through a knee injury, uh, that you start out with a very, very light weight to get used to doing the movement, and then gradually work up in both weight and repetitions. I'd start out with uh, eight or ten repetitions with a very light weight, and then you can just uh, move up, say, to 15 repetitions as you get stronger and as your endurance gets a little bit better in your legs. But that's a, that's a movement that works your knee to the fullest extent. In other words, when you go down here, you're stressing that knee. Now, if you went down in a full squat with heavy weight, that puts the maximum stress on your knees. And that's not what you want to be doing here if you're working through a knee injury. Another thing about lunges is, that you should know is, that if you have no knee injury, you don't have any problem with your knee, that is still a great exercise to build strength in your legs, buttocks, and to a lesser extent, your lower legs. So it's a great exercise no matter what. And you can expect if you haven't been doing these, after doing two or three sets of them the first few times, you can expect some considerable soreness up through your legs and into your buttocks. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not going to kill you. And you should experience some soreness because to, to let you know, that's what lets you know it's actually working. And then as you do it more, the soreness will disappear. 
Another exercise uh, that's very important is, is uh, leg extensions. Leg extensions, I'm going to do them on the bench here in a minute, but a leg extension can be done with weight or no weight. Uh, you can do it just by starting out by just doing it with your leg, by just putting your leg flat, by putting your foot flat on the floor and simply lifting your lower leg straight out and back down in one smooth, continuous movement. That can be done um, with no weight whatsoever. Again, if you're starting out and you're, you're just now be, and you're beginning to work through some knee mobility issues or pain, Start out with no weight and just start doing it uh, two, three rep, two or three sets of eight or ten reps until you get a little bit, little bit of mobility in your knee and then go up a little bit in weight. Um, a great way to do them as you're getting started particularly is to do them with, uh, with ankle weights. Uh, you can get ankle weights in all kinds of uh, configurations and weights. These are some big ones right here. I think these go up to about 15 pounds. And these are just uh, smaller ones right here that are about uh, three pounds each. Whatever the weight is, use one that is appropriate for you that you can do and get a mild burn in your leg and in your knee uh, without feeling like you're hurting yourself. And again, lightweight to start with or no weight at all, building up as you build up strength and mobility in your knee. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this on a... leg extension machine and if you have a leg extension machine you can get a bench you can get a bench at a lot of different places um, you can get them at Walmart you can get them at Academy Sports you can get them at Dick Sporting Goods all kinds of uh, retailers where you can buy some kind of bench and you can actually buy a bench with um, a lot of benches are very common in, in stores like that that have a leg extension and leg curl machine um, Leg curls on a machine, of course, if you belong to a gym, you can also uh, do these at a gym, and that's great, too. Uh, these can be done with two legs, like I'm doing right now. And you do them just exactly the way I showed you, with no weight, up and down in one smooth, continuous motion, just like this. This is one of the best exercises for isolating the muscles right in this area and building the muscle around your knee to support that sore or immobile knee. You can switch off, switch to one foot, switch to the other, and then back to two, and that is, again, one of the most significant exercises you can use for strengthening the muscle around your knee. You can do it any of those ways, no weight, angle weights on a leg extension machine, but you sure want to include that exercise if you're dealing with a knee injury uh, or some type of problem in your knee. Um, last, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to neglect this, and this is important here, you have to be careful because if you are dealing with a sore knee, you're going to be putting your knee on something. But in doing these type exercises, and in any type of leg exercise, People have a tendency to work real hard on this area of their legs right here and forget that they got a great big muscle back here called a hamstring. And that right there is one of the primary reasons that even athletes, high level athletes, serious, have serious, have serious hamstring tears that cause them to be down for a long time because they'll have a tendency to work this muscle here to that where that muscle gets very dense and very strong. And in very heavy or fast or hard movements, pushing off, those muscles will have a tendency to, to be able to handle it, whereas these muscles back here won't. And this muscle right here will not compensate for the strain put on this one. And when that happens, the hamstring can tear. So it's very important as you're doing these type of leg exercises to also include leg curls. Leg curls can be done simply leaning over a table or a bench like this with no weight and just simply curling your leg up from the back. One smooth, continuous motion, just like with a leg extension, only you're curling it to the back. That's working your hamstring. Again, you can start out with no weight. You can use ankle weights as you progress. And finally, you can use your leg curl or, or leg curl machine just like this. I know you can't see my face over here, but just see my legs. And again, you're working it in one smooth, continuous motion, just like this, 
building up those hamstrings so that they can support the work that that is that is put on them by the load that you do, the load that you're carrying, the load, or, or whatever type of exercise you're doing, where these muscles are primary, these muscles are protected and add support to these rather than being so weak that they tear. Those exercises done correctly can be a comprehensive leg workout. Uh, whether you're working through knee problems or whether you're not, that can provide a very, very good leg workout for anybody under any conditions. But in particular today, I want to encourage you, if you have any kind of problems in your knees, uh, these exercises right here are primary in developing muscle around that knee and supporting it, along with a knee brace, while you get well and you gain the strength back in that knee and get that knee well. These will contribute to it in a big way.